as an artist, you were always painting, and you mentioned the association with Jackson Pollock, but you didn't know who was Jackson Pollock. So how do you see your art? Because I know that your art right now is most of your focus. Um, there was a quote from you, I'll just repeat, um, yeah. that you mentioned that uh, the antiquity side, the ancient art side is taking 10% of my concentration, and the new challenge now is for you, me, I'm quoting you, to succeed in being an artist that art critics think I am. So tell us a bit about this quote and about yourself as an artist. You see, anytime I visited museums, I always looked at the work of art and uh, felt or put myself in the shoes of the artists that have painted these works and have always been marveled and fascinated by the techniques and by the mastery and by the perfection that these artists have achieved in their lives. And in many ways, I was very envious to become the artist that I am now. <laughs> and it's a very challenging position to be an artist because you strive for perfection, you strive to be different than any other artist. And also at the same time, you try to develop your own school or your own technique in the process. And to do this, you know, you would have to go through the tens of thousands of paintings, you know, that I have covered, luckily, that are filling up warehouses at the present time every, in every country that I have a home in. So I have six homes in six different countries with six studios. I wake up early in the morning, most of the times, you know, and attack a canvas to do something extraordinary. So I have, at the present time, over 100 digital books that are accessible for the viewers to see the different techniques and the different subjects that I have covered in my paintings. Uh, and there I have even 300 videos, you know, on YouTube also that a lot of the students in the arts, you know, can benefit out of and learn from. Let's look at your art. So in terms of your art, most of your art is, is a, what you've been discussing about your yeah. own, but I want to hear it from your own words, is a sense of experimentation and a sense of spirituality. So can you tell us about your art for people that don't know so much and as well, what drives you? What drives me is to be different, to be unique, to be special, and to shock people. I remember some 10 years ago when I had my gallery in Dubai, you know, my wife came driving my Bentley, you know, and she almost hit the window, you know, I was a little bit agitated. I said, you needed a smaller car. I'll buy you, you know, a smaller car. And it happened that I thought, you know, of painting my, my own Bentley at the time. And I started <laughs> painting it and turned it into a work of art rather than a drivable car. And everybody was shocked and got the news. Now, now it's presently uh, in front of my gallery in the driveway in Seoul, Korea, who, where we are now the leading contemporary art gallery in Asia, I don't know, you know, if no, you know that. So. We represent all the important uh, uh, artists. There. And presently, my wife is at in Dubai, in Abu Dhabi, you know, with the art show. So, other than that, you know, at one time, I had the Buddha you know, that is from the Ming Dynasty, also that happened in Dubai, where insects started affecting, attacking, you know, the wood and started deteriorating. I felt so bad about it, and we had to freeze that Buddha, and then, you know, to protect it from the cracks, I painted it. Some people were offended, but I was not trying, you know, to offend anybody. I was trying to enhance the beauty of this Ming Buddha that I had 
that hmm, more people have seen, more people admired, and you know, then it would uh, have been in its own condition deteriorating. So I recreated it, and I'm doing a lot now on some of my African pieces. You know, when I run out of cameras, I go through my collection and. If I see something with an interesting face or an interesting position or an interesting uh, form, you know, I paint it to enhance it. I, I find that quite exciting. And a lot of my clients love it and appreciate it. And I'd be happy to show you samples of, of it in my studio. That's, that's spe very special and as well it shows your capacity to go from the creation to the, the as well the history and, and the change of different things. So w one question I have that you touched multiple times uh, in some of your interviews and as well in your work is the healing power of art. I know that this is very important to you. Tell us about it. Oh. At the present time, you know, in Seoul, Korea, at the University of Seoul Museum, I'm sorry, hospital, there will be 100 of my paintings exhibited there for healing purposes. You know, I believe uh, that we as human beings are affected by color, by form, by subject, by theme. And I created a series of paintings, you know, to enhance or to transcend the human mind from one's misery or from one's illness to feel into a better status. And in many ways, it proved to be healing. Uh, there is uh, Dr. Bongen, I don't know if you have seen the big article that was written about me where I produced eight videos. I call them Beyond Bliss. And did you see these? Yes, I studied for they the interview. Are, it's very special. Yeah. And now oh, this is going, I think, to be in different clinics. Dr. Bogdan told me that even the United Nations are considering, you know, to sponsor me, you know, for this kind of works. And I'm very proud, you know, to see at least that my type of art is taking a direction that would be, you know, the beginner, you know, to help people change their status of mood. Oh, it's really impressive. And, and your paintings have, of course, decades of experimentation yeah. and you've been building a fantastic um, overflow. So another concept that you have is that uh, uh, you've been always, like you said, testing and trying to push the boundaries of your own creation. Yeah. Um, so how yeah. would you with the different decades where you build your, your paintings and the, your work as an artist, what is the, the legacy you would like to leave, especially bearing in mind all the fantastic things you achieved, but as well on your art and you as an artist in particular? Oh dear, you know, each one of my paintings is a symphony, you know, uh, carrying a message that can only be understood by someone that have equal spiritual and intellectual capacity to comprehend it and translate it in their own lives. Uh, I mean, my latest series of paintings was influenced by a site. I was invited by the Royal Commission to go to Saudi Arabia, you know, to visit al Oda, for example. And this place, that desert over there, you know, inspired me so much because I felt that millions of years ago, this desert was an ocean. And most of the hills that are in this desert are fossilized corals. So after meditating about this subject, I have Prince Abdullah, one of the princes, who is a dear friend of mine, wants to build a hotel there and he wanted to me, you know, to create something quite special about in his hotel of 400 rooms. 
and he commissioned me to paint 1,000 paintings, believe it or not. I could show you a copy of the catalog if you like to see it. Yeah, I would like, I'll, I'll put, see it, it, we'll put it in the actual, collection. The books, you know, the actual paintings are upstairs, you know, in one of the rooms now that are written in preparation to be delivered, you know, for that museum. So I have been tackling subjects that other artists would not uh, deal with or paint with. I mean, 20 years ago, I remember painting uh, a theme of paintings in my museum in Jordan about the stars and the galaxies. Some of my paintings that I painted in oil had over 10 million articulated dots, but they are fairly large size paintings, a few meters by two meters. And a friend artist of mine, after this telescope, uh, took pictures, you see, of the stars and the galaxies. He said, look, <laughs> You know, you were painted this 20 years ago, that's being discovered. So there is, I defy the concept of abstractness, for example. I don't think anything is abstract. I feel that I hope, you know, that I'd be recognized with someone who have uh, developed, you know, a whole new school of art. That would be the thing I would like to be remembered by.